Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to show you how to create an ebook mock-up in Canva. So this video was actually recommended by my student, Crystal. So shout out to you, Crystal, who I was actually able to meet at a recent workshop in Toronto. This video is for you. If you have any recommendations for a topic you would like to see covered in a video, just click the link in the description below and send me that recommendation. And if you're new here, my name's Louise of solopreneursidekick.com. I put out new videos every single week to help you grow your online business. So if that's something that you're looking to do, make sure that you hit subscribe. All right, let's get started. Okay, so this is what I mean when I say ebook mock-up. Basically, it's just a way of displaying your free PDF and has this nice shadow detailing around it. I did create this specific one using Photoshop, but I wanted to figure out how you could do this in Canva. So the first step is to actually create this PDF. I have a video tutorial on that, so I'll link to that above and in the description below. So after you've created this PDF, you're going to go to smallpdf.com and then you're going to select PDF to JPEG. So click on that, and then all you need to do is select Choose File, select your PDF, and then you're going to click Convert Entire Images and Choose Option. So what this is going to do is this is going to take your PDF and turn it into images of your pages instead. Awesome, so you're just going to scroll down. We don't need all of them, so I just come down to this bottom section here and then click download on the cover page. And let's do the final page as well. So just click download, awesome. So now we need to go into Canva and you're going to click use custom dimensions and just type in 1000 by 1000 pixels, so that's PX, and click design, and this is going to open up a blank design. Now, I'm just going to show you for a second what we're going to create. This is what we're working on creating. As you can see, it has a really nice drop shadow effect. So. Here's how we do this. Step one is to head over to Elements and then select Frames. Scroll down and what you're looking for is this design right here, which as you can see has a white bottom section to it. So if I click on that, it will bring it over to my design on the right. And as you can see, it already has that drop shadow effect that we want. Now the problem with this one is that you can't adjust the dimensions, like I can't change the width of this, so this is where it becomes more of a hack. So then we're going to go over to Uploads, click Upload Your Own Images, and grab the photo of your cover page and another one of your pages that you want to use. Okay, great. So let's start with the cover page. You're just going to click on that and it will appear over on the right. Now I'm going to resize this. First, I'm going to drag it over here and make sure to match the height of the frame. Okay, so that seems to be matching it. And then I'm going to drag it below. And as you can see, it is too wide for the frame, but that's all right. What we're going to do is click on the frame, just hit copy and then you're going to drag this over, making sure to line it up correctly and make the frames together match the width of your freebie or PDF. <laughs> okay, so now let's grab it again and line it up over here. Now, what you have to make sure of here is that you don't just drag it on top. If I do, it's going to fill the frame like that. So I'm going to click undo I'm going to select my cover page of my PDF, and then I'm just going to use my arrow key on my keyboard, and I'm just going to move it over to the right. 
And if it happens to go behind like that, that's not what we want. <laughs> so I'm just going to make adjust the sizing a little bit more. And then I go over here, click Arrange, and just bring it forward. All right, great. So continue along and move it all the way over. All right, so make sure that you match that perfectly. Awesome, so as you can see, we now have that shadow effect on our cover page. Now what you're going to do is just highlight all of the elements on the design, and then select Group. And now we can move this over to the side. We're going to click Copy to get our second page now. Okay, awesome. Move it over to the right side, so just separate them for a second. Then select Ungroup. Delete the cover page from this one. Now add in your final page. Resize. So I'm just going to match the one on the left. So same thing, just move it over with your arrow keys. I know this takes a few seconds and is kind of weird, but it works for now. Hopefully Canva comes out with a drop shadow one where we can adjust the dimensions, but for now, just use this hack. All right, so we're going to line it up. Great, then what you do is you highlight everything on the right side, click group, and then what you're going to do is move the back page behind the cover photo. So all you need to do is click on the one that is currently on top, click arrange, and then back, and that will send that behind it, and then all you need to do is move it around um, to create the final look that you want. So for example, I could do that. Awesome. Then just grab both pages, center that, and that's it. So there is your ebook mock-up. And just to clarify, whenever I say select, all I do is I hold down my mouse and just go over the area where the elements are. So just so you know how to do that. But yeah, so I've centered the design. Now I'm, all I need to do is click download. If you do have Canva for work, then definitely select transparent background. If you don't, just make sure that the background itself matches wherever you want to put it on your website. So for example, if I wanted to put it here, I would need to make sure that my background was this color. So in Canva, I could just go over to background and change it to that specific color. Um, but since I have Canva for work, which I do recommend that you have, um, I can just download it as a transparent background and then use this mock-up on any of my other designs. So if you do that, you click download, transparent background, download, so since I'm in Google Chrome, it's just going to download down here. I'm going to click on that. And as you can see, there is our final ebook mock-up. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope that you found it super helpful. If you have any questions at all, just leave them for me in the comments below. Make sure to like this video if you liked it, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon with another video.